The next question, the member for Oshawa. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And my question is to the Premier. My colleagues and I have had the honour of working with Kathy Parks, a daughter who tragically lost her father, Paul, to the devastating COVID outbreak at the Orchard Villa long-term care home in Pickering earlier this year. Upon hearing the news of this government's decision to protect the very people who put her father's life in jeopardy, Kathy told us this, quote, my family and others like us have been through a living hell in the past six months. We watched our loved ones suffer and die while our hands were tied and the only people who could help didn't move fast enough. This tragedy will be etched in history as a time when those in power failed to protect our vulnerable citizens, and this new step shows the corruption of power at its absolute worst." End quote. What does the government have to say to Kathy and her family? The Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, I do want to start by saying that we acknowledge that there, there are tragic circumstances, and people are struggling through COVID-19. They absolutely are. And I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, that we are doing everything possible as a government to help our communities through this period. And I, I was quickly checking my, my various letters from the opposition asking me to bring in this legislation. Uh, I don't see one from the member who asked the question, uh, but several of her colleagues have expressed concern for people in their communities who want to contribute to the communities, who want to come forward and want to feel security that if they make an honest effort and they do it in good faith, and they get public health advice, and they implement that advice, that they have a level of protection that they can engage in their communities, and that we can, Mr. Speaker, reach out and, and help in every way possible. Mr. Speaker, there are tragedies, and my heart goes out to them. Response? Mr. Speaker, we, we need to make sure that we're putting our resources where they can help the most, Mr. Speaker. And the supplementary. Again to the Premier, and I will submit that I have been standing alongside the families, as all of my colleagues have, in our communities, demanding justice and trying to get them the support that they need during this difficult time. And across Ontario, those families who have lost loved ones to COVID in long-term care are seeking justice. We have heard countless reports from families, residents, PSWs, and even the armed forces, who all detail the horrific conditions that allowed this outbreak to claim over 1,900 lives in the first wave. First, this government hid from accountability by refusing an independent public judicial inquiry. Now they're making laws to evade responsibility and duck liability. Speaker, private for-profit homes like Southbridge's Orchard Villa Long-Term Care, with a long record of orders, complaints and non-compliance, should not be allowed to operate with impunity. Why is the government trying to stand in the way of Ontarians like Kathy from holding these homes accountable? The Attorney General. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're, we're doing exactly that. We're, we're making the system so that those who are the bad actors, those who are, are part of failure to provide necessities of life, those, those individuals or companies or nonprofits or, or any group who is, is not acting in good faith and is not providing a level of service that is appropriate, Mr. Speaker, they are in harm's way. And we will let them stay in harm's way. But who we will not let go into harm's way are our volunteers and our communities and our frontline workers who are acting with an honest belief and acting in good faith and taking public health advice and implementing that advice, Mr. Speaker. We will not throw them in front of the bus, Mr. Speaker. It is important that we protect our communities and those who, who contribute to our communities, and that's exactly what we're doing.